In this video, I am going to review this Flashport Finder 3D printer and also I will show you how to design your own 3D models using SketchUp. Let's get started. I bought this machine at 45,000 rupees. Its price in India is bit higher than other countries. It have following specifications. It have really good build quality. In this tutorial, I will first design 3D model using SketchUp and then after I will print that model using this 3D printer. For this tutorial, we require these two software. One is uh, SketchUp and other is Flash Print. For 3D modeling, we use SketchUp and for uh, printing, we use Flash Print. This software comes with the printer. You can download this software from the link given below in the description. Now I am going to design 3D model using SketchUp. Open SketchUp. In SketchUp, select template. In template, select 3D printing in millimeter. And then start SketchUp. This is SketchUp software. On top, you can see all the tools. And uh, in right hand side, you can see instruction how to use the tool. First, I will select this box using Ctrl A and delete it. You can use this selection tool for selecting any object. And then I will only explain all the important tools. Here, using this tool, you can rotate this layout like this. And then for this tutorial, I will make a simple cube. For making cube, you can select a rectangle here. I will creating rectangle of 1 cm by 1 cm and on right hand corner you can see its dimension 10 means 1 cm as you can see this rectangle to make it 3d use push and pull tool I am making it 1 cm again then to make the cavity inside this cube use offset tool I am creating offset of 1 mm let's see, let's see now to create a cavity I will again use push pull tool like this I am creating it 9 mm this is our simple box first save this box saving and then first export it into STL again I am saving it on my desktop save this file now close the sketchup as you can see this our box now open flash print software click on load and select our box Select yes, it will place at the center and then click on print. I always prefer it default. If you select faster, it will reduce the quality of our print. I will select standard and then it will create .jsx file. I will again save it to our desktop. It will also show estimated time, it will took 5 minutes then it will create this .gx file now copy this .gx file to the usb drive copy it and paste it into the usb drive 